Warhorse and Tintin did clearly did not resonate with the Academy. However, Warhorse was nominated for Best Picture. But when you look at a film that's nominated for Best Picture, you would assume that the director would get a nod. Here, Spielberg was snubbed. One reason for that is there are more films in the Best Picture category than there are in the Best Director category. So I think that that enabled the Academy to at least say to Spielberg, we like the movie, but we just didn't like it enough to give you a nod as Best Director. What's shocking here is that Hugo, a film that many people didn't see, garnered the most nominations with 11. Hugo is coming out from nowhere as being a front runner now. I still believe that this is the year of the artist. A silent film is making the most noise in Hollywood this year, and it's wonderful. You have two acting uh, nods in this film, and you may see a best actor who doesn't speak English, not a word of it, and he has captured the hearts of, of not only the, the Academy, but also audiences. And you see a film that without a single word plays in virtually any country because it's universal. The big snubs are Leonardo DiCaprio, not nominated. Many people early on thought he was a shoe-in. Uh, Michael Fassbender, not nominated. Uh, Shailene Woodley was not nominated for The Descendants, a wonderful young actress. You also saw a great surprise. Melissa McCarthy, nominated for Best Supporting Actress. You know, often we hear that the Academy doesn't applaud comedic roles. Boy, this is a great over-the-top comedic role. And whether she wins or not, she's made a statement. This nomination is critical and important. Pixar, the first time ever that that studio hasn't received a nomination. This one for Cars 2. Tintin didn't receive a nomination. What did we have in the Best animated category, two films that were foreign language films. You don't even know, most people don't even know these films. So overall, I do think this is the year of the artist. I think George Clooney has to look over his shoulder because a French actor may steal his thunder. Uh, and I, I think it's shaping up as a very exciting Oscar race.